Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over several different official and kitbash versions of Venom in my collection from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. To me, this is the quintessential Venom head. I love how it looks. Every tooth is immaculately painted. The eyes are painted really well. Also, the rest of the head is done in black and looks wonderful. You get back, you get forward, you get swivel, and then a little bit of pivot for this probably perfect Venom head. The body sadly isn't as good. It's the old Hyperion body mold. I like how this looks in a way, but it's past its prime. The articulation is fine, I guess, but really the structure and sculpt isn't really what it should be. It is okay for then, but not really great for now. It has been surpassed by much better body molds and everything. Even though the paint's really nice, I do like the little dots on his hands, indicating sort of like web or symbiote. Web swinging, I guess, and the hole in his back we'll see later on. But yeah, it's just alright. The legs for Venom are just black, except for this piece, which is annoying me to no end. I really don't like that. The feet are also kind of jutting backwards, weirdly enough. And these are old, kind of like bowed in legs a little bit. It's very strange. You get out this far and in, up this far, pretty okay and back pretty all right. All the way back is fine, I guess. You just swivel up here, swivel down here, down, and then up, and then a pivot. Two pegos up on the feet. The legs are really shaky, too, at the hips. The glue is gone loose. Yeah, this is an older figure, and the head is still salvageable, luckily. You can swap it out for this head here, and it's nice, but not my favorite head by a long shot. I hate the green slime. It's stupid and weird. you think it would be spit, but why is there green slime? I don't get it. Maybe some comic run and never even read. I don't really read the comics anyways. You swivel over here, and then up and down. A little bit of pivot. It's fine. Venom also comes with grabbing hands that are pretty cool. I like how these look and they articulate very well. Really nice. They also have literal mushroom bags. Pretty cool. These gripping hands came from the Punisher Venom. I don't use them on that figure, so I gave it to this one. They look really nice. You can swivel and then hinge pretty well on that. Other than that, they're good for symbio web swinging, I guess. Different Venom, different head sculpt. I like this one a lot. The teeth are kind of weird though. They're yellow. I'm not sure why. There's some paint missing on that over there. The eyes are painted alright, I guess. A little fuzzy. Back, forth, swivel, pivot. It's a good head at least. And the rest of the body is the exact same. A little shinier, but yeah, this body is really old, I gotta say. The paint's even wearing off on the back. What a shame. This Eddie Brock head sculpt at least is really cool for this. The hair isn't really done that well, but I love the face. Everyone kept calling this Heady Brock because it was so big on the body. I don't really see that. I like the head sculpt, honestly. I think it's pretty cool for this. Back, forward, swivel, a little bit of pivot. Yeah, it's a nice head sculpt. I do like it. And to accentuate the normal Eddie Brock head sculpt, this peg in the back can facilitate this symbiote effect, like his head is being unveiled. Pretty nice and cool, but it's kind of weird, I think, on this. You can also give Venom this backpack of tentacles. It looks really cool. It's from the Agent Venom figure to hold weaponry, but I'm gonna have it hold something infinitely better. And similar to the movies and comics, you can have the Venom heads hanging off of this, kind of like a Christmas tree in a way. It's really weird, really creepy, and pretty cool, but very hard to get on these two at least. And to shake them off, you can twist this and get rid of your Venom heads one by one. But yeah, you can swivel this around all you want. It moves in pretty well and fits very nicely. I like this piece a lot. And as far as kit fashion goes, you can place the pork grind head sculpt on top of this body. Same wave, these both came from. This came from Spider-Ham, this came from Venom, the body. So it works out really well. It's the exact same plastics used for this. I love the teeth, the tusks are cool, and these little Spider-Man head thing is pretty funny for the snout. The eyes are in a really incredulous pose, and these are slightly poseable, or at least rubber. These little ears, yeah, it's pretty neat. You can swivel over here as well, up and down. Not really much pivot, but it's really funny to see. I like it a lot. And I really like this one when Kraven suited up in a symbiote suit and took on Spider-Man. It's pretty cool. I have the sort of transforming thing going on over here, looking nice. The Kraven head fits pretty well on here. It's a mite small, I think, but it has good articulation, at least. It's really creepy to see and scary. This is a really nice head sculpt for this body. It works out pretty well, I think. But as far as the best kit bash goes, look no further than this Eddie Brock civilian clothing kit bash. I love this piece so much. The head comes from the second Venom, the body from the Punisher Venom, the arms from the Thor Odinson figure, these hands are from Hercules, these wristbands are from Rage, the belts from Captain America, the Anniversary Edition, and the boots and cuffs I believe are from either Rage or Luke Cage or both. But I'm just so happy to 
have this. He looks so awesome and really intimidating as Eddie Brock. I think I got this inspiration from Sid from Toy Story, so thanks Pixar. And the new arms have pretty nice articulation as well. Here is Venom next to my Ultimate Spider-Man kit bash, my all new, all different Spider-Man and Wrath Spider-Man kit bash, the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man, and the Amazing Friends Spider-Man. I think Venom stands well next to these four. Here's Venom next to Eddie Brock, and I like how the stature doesn't really change, unlike the film at least. I know Venom can get huge with the host inside it, but really, I just don't know. But I just love this guy. He looks so great and I'm glad I made him a while ago. This one is fine, but it's kind of a dud and past its prime by now. Here is Venom next to his kit bashes, Port Grind, and Craven, looking pretty cool over here, but I gotta say, the original looks the best to me. With Port Grind standing at about 7 inches tall or so to the top of the ear and around 6.5, six and, a half, six and three quarters inches tall to the top of the head, with regular Venom standing at about I would say 6.5 inches tall and Craven standing at about 6.5 quarter six and a half inches tall between there and here they are next to jesse heck creative oh boy what now venom some guy and a pig walk into a review what is this some kind of joke but eddie brock and venom take on new forms right after this Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and hit the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. This Venom head sculpt is alright. I'm not a big fan of the tongue or the eyes being this pearlescent color. The teeth are nice though, the gums are pretty good, and the sculpt itself is pretty cool with all the little wrinkles in the head looking really awesome. You get some nice articulation from this too on this body going back and forth pretty well. Some swivel and then a tiny bit of pivot for a pretty okay Venom head sculpt. The body is the Omega Red body with some Venom symbiote stuff on the sides over here on the arms looking really good. The Venom symbol itself is really nice as well on front and back looking really great. Articulation is awesome on this body. I really love it. Gonna have a hard time replacing this with the new Walmart exclusive Venom coming out soon, but we shall see what happens in that regard. But yeah, so far this is my favorite body for Venom. And the legs are all done in black with the toes that I love for Venom, the pointy sort of sock-like ones. Articulation is nice as well for this. Even though we have pinned joints, I still love this one. I don't think I'll be giving this up anytime soon. No articulation here, by the way. Not an up in the pivot and peg holes. Really great body, just a weak head for me. He comes with a pair of fists that look really nice over here, and a pair of Jimungus claw hands that I just don't know what to do with. They're too big for me, honestly. You get a nice swivel and then the hinge from both of them, but yeah, they're just huge, dude. The three-pack Venom also comes with this transformation head with Eddie Brock inside. I love how this looks. The tongue is very slight and awesome. The teeth are really nice and jagged coming out almost. Really cool. I love the mid-transformation thing of all the wrinkles over here here and this color I don't mind it's fine I guess for now but this goop on the side is really well done also and you get some really good articulation out of this it works so well and looks so good for more kit bashing, you can take the old Eddie Brock head and put it on this new body, and it looks pretty nice, actually. Yeah, they were right. It is pretty much in scale. Has some nice swivel hinge over here. Works out really well, actually. Wow. And you can also put all the other Venom heads on this body, making this the definitive one. Here's a small sample of them, the ones I like, and they're all pretty cool. Of course, what I have done is swapped the head and hands from the Null 2-pack Venom onto this 3-pack Venom body, and man, Man, does it make a difference? The hands are smaller and much better looking. The head is just perfect for this. It is just gorgeous. This is my Venom. Creepy tongue, creepy face, jutting out teeth, this weird thing in the back. The eyes are perfect. This is my perfect Venom for now, and I just love it. You can also fit the other King and Black head on here, but I feel like it's missing those gums for it to be the definitive Venom head for me. Don't get me wrong, I like how it looks, but it's just kind of weird. I don't know. Articulation is fine. It works okay, but it's very stiff small ball in there. The only flaw this figure has is no hole in the back for these tendrils, which is really sad, but I do have a solution. You can give him the Symbiote Transformation neck collar line thing and place it around his arms on his shoulders like this to give that extra ooey gooey oopy goopy vibe. Here all that is with the new Venom hands at least not really fitting that well on this body. It's just an okay kit bash here. The head barely fits. I had to jut it into position. These tendrils keep falling off and moving and losing place. And you could barely see the tendrils so maybe it's for the best that we don't have them on the new figure. But I gotta say these giant hands look pretty cool on this figure. I kind of like it. And here's Pork Grind's head on the new body. 
I gotta say, it's pretty cool, especially with his big hands. I'm glad I finally found out a way to use them in a way that looks really good. Large, cartoony, pretty scary, and pretty funny. This is a nice head to put in this body, even if it's a tiny bit small. This head may be really small, but I think it works really nicely on this body. I don't know, I just like the huge hulking venom thing with this head. It's pretty cool, and I even got this thing in play, wrapping it around this so it wouldn't mash against that. It works really great, and it's kind of funny with the little pinhead thing, but man, Craven be angry. Here is my Kit Bash Omega Red Body Venom next to my Kit Bash Ultimate Spider-Man, my Kit Bash Wrath Spider-Man with all new all different head, my Renew Your Vows Spider-Man, and my Amazing Friends Spider-Man. This Venom looks really nice next to these four, but I think best with the Ultimate Spider-Man because of the sheer height difference. And here is my Kit Bash Venom, the new version, I love this one, next to the old one, and what a glow up! This is so awesome. I'm still keeping this one, I'm probably gonna get rid of this one over here and keep the heads that I like, but yeah, this one just takes the cake for the best Venom in my collection. Here are all three Venom's tongues out looking awesome. We have the old style Venom, the Null 2-pack Venom, and the recent 3-pack Omega Red Body Venom, all tongues out and guns out. And here is my Kit Bash Venom, the new version, next to Pork Grind and Craven. and I gotta say, even though these two look oily and weird, this one is better for the sculpt. I love how massive he is, looking really awesome at the height of about, I would say, 6 and 3 quarters inches tall, looking amazing next to Jesse Heck Creative. Face it, you guys, this joke had to happen sooner or later. Overall, the Lethal Protector. The first version of Venom was nice for its time, but not for now. That being said, I do appreciate the amount of accessories we have for this one with all the different versions that came out. And it's great to have kit bashes of Craven and Pork Grind, but it's also better to have multiple hands and heads for a singular Venom. And it all comes together with the Eddie Brock kit bash. I really love how you could put the tentacles on the back as well with the Venom head like he's talking to it, but I'm just glad I made it in the look super cool. The Omega Red Body Venom, however, is probably my favorite. We've been waiting for this for so long and Hasbro really delivered. Even though you can't put the hands from the old Venom on this one, this Venom still comes with a nice compliment as well as all the heads from the previous Venoms. And kit bashing with that one is even more fun with all the other heads that could fit on this one. This Venom is incredibly versatile. If you're a fan of Marvel, Spider-Man, or Venom, then you will definitely love this figure. I do highly recommend getting the Omega Red Body version over the previous one just because it looks so much better. But make no mistake, Venom is just a chip off the old Brock. So which Venom is your favorite? The first one, the second one, the kit bashes, or the new one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.